So this is your last call for Eververse, Ada, and Zer. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what is up for the week. So that way you guys are aware of what's leaving. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> Midnight X again. So this is a pretty cool shader if you want to go for a Warm Mind inspired look because it is the shader for from Season of the Worthy. I would recommend it for that alone. But as you guys can see, it takes cloth really poorly. But armor, it does take it pretty well, if I remember correctly uh the mad monk i use this usually to cover my cloak into black because it is a really good black right here uh doesn't look good with this cloak just because uh the cloak and the like neck guard uh, are different colors but usually i like to have mad monk to really make everything black it's a good alternative to the other black colors let's just say that and then war cult endgame i like the shader quite a bit uh, just because it is pure white, but it also the blue is really, really cool. And yeah, I just like the blue and white. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, the only thing I would say is I think the off color, I can't even see the off color if I'm being quite honest. The off color would be this right here, but I rarely ever see it. So that should tell you something. As for the armor, it's going to be these three right here. I've already reviewed all of the armor with the Ada video, but just real quick for the hunters i think the helmet is unique i think the arms and chest piece are definitely worth a pickup and the cloak and the boots are trash for the titans everything but the boots uh is trash i think the boots are really good i use it for a mongolian inspired look but for everything else a the orange doesn't change color and b it's just it honestly it's just the fact that the orange just doesn't change color i would use this if the orange did change color and then for the warlocks, I think the chest piece and the helmet are really, really cool. And then the boots, arms and bond, I think are like kind of like whatever, to be quite honest, but still usable. As for Zer, he's in the Winding Cove and the EDZ is currently selling the future war call armor. If you are interested, you can definitely pick it up. I definitely would suggest the Nessus armor instead, because the Nessus armor is basically all of this armor without the future war, war cult insignia. So that's why I would much prefer that one. Uh, just be aware that the colors are not different and what i mean by that is i mean the fact that the chest piece for everyone that like yellow wiring doesn't change color for everything so the future work called stuff the nessus stuff it doesn't change color for both so you're gonna have to work around that same thing for the hunter cloak specifically the actual hood the orange lining doesn't change color either other than that i definitely think this armor is dope like definitely pick up the nessus stuff but I just don't think the future war cult stuff is good. I mean, unless you like future war cult, which is weird considering they're not even in the game anymore. But if you do read up on the lore and you're like, hey, I like this, definitely re uh, rep it because again, factions aren't here anymore and I would like to see people actually rep them. Um, for the weapons, true prophecy with ex uh, overflow and explosive payload, I actually picked this up in the Zer video because I do think this is worth a pickup just because uh, overflow and explosive payload, this is gonna be really gross for PVP or PVE. Uh, more so PVP just because once you get that gr green brick, you literally have 22 rounds in the magazine with explosive payload, which I think is gross, which is why I picked it up. We have farewell with subsistence and vorpal. We have extra extraordinary rendition with surplus and tap to trigger. Timelines vertex with lead from gold and disruption break. I'm a big fan of lead from gold. It's like one of my favorite perks in the game, just because once I pick up heavy, I'm getting more ammo for my special, which is always a dub. Um, disruption break could be really well. It is good, really good for PVE, from what I've heard. I just haven't used it, and I, I don't know. I want to pick it up. Bringing an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable for kinetic damage for a brief period. Like, I wonder if this works with kinetic tremors as well. Like, does a kinetic tremor also like get bonus damage from it? Because that would be pretty cool, I guess. But I don't know. I haven't used disruption break in so long that I don't even remember what it does. Uh, without remorse, hip fire grip and fragile focus. Without remorse and sail spy uh, pitch glass are both red border weapons. So if you are interested to pick these up, I would recommend it. The only thing is I don't like without remorse. I think the perk pool is just really terrible, but that's just me personally. Uh, and then night watch with subsistence and multi kill clip, which I think is OK. It's definitely not the best because subsistence is going to be working against multi kill clip most of the time. But by the time multi kill clip is gone, you should be able to reload again. So I don't know. And for the exotics, we have Hawk Moon with Hitfire Grip and Dead Man's Tail with Subsistence, which I would pick up Subsistence just because it's nice, but 
man they really killed dmt and pve and then for the other exotics we have lord of wolves which was busted so many times uh lucky pants with a natural 29 which is really fucking foul because when you master work this it's going to turn into a 31 and then when if you want you can bump it up to a 41 so 41 on lucky pants is just really weird that being said i don't know i would probably pick the you know what let's pick this up fuck it because like i'm just so interested in it now like now that i'm like looking at it because maybe I can make it work with some other builds. Let's pick that up. Stronghold with too much mobility and Veritas Brow with too much mobility as well. So I would still recommend picking these up if you go, don't own them. Because again, I go by the mantra of it's better to it's better to need it. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. That's yeah, that's the thing. And I'm not doing that. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zura. As for Eververse, I don't remember off the top of my head what the hell she is selling. Oh, I remember now. So she is selling the Eagle Maligan, which is the shader, the Ahamkara shader from last season, the one that was in the bundle. You can actually pick it up now, which is really cool. Um, I, I love this shader. It's so cool. Definitely pick it up. As you guys can see, it has that like really like bright bone color and that's why people are picking this up because it's just such a good plate armor color but it's also really cool for cloth because you guys can see a lot of blue and black which i definitely would recommend we have neopop wave which on the one hand it's a cool black because it's more like a blue black which is cool but the plate armor is like kind of the part that people are going to have issues with just because it's a really chrome blue with a like very matte pink so i don't know personally i like it but at the same time i never wear it so that should tell you something we have unspun fate and again i'm gonna be looking at all of the shit because of that one commenter who bitched about not about me skipping shit and on the one hand i get it but on the other hand i i hate it because i don't want to look at this shit um catch of the day which is just you catching a big ass fish and I think the stop emote is you putting it putting it back, which, yeah. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have, I'm not looking at ghost projections. That's where I draw the line. Uh, Hibernal Thorns. This is a pretty good ornament. I just, I will never use this exotic because I fucking hate glaives, like with a passion. Um, Winter Bite, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's cool. De definitely cool. But I feel like it's just not cool enough to waste like however much bright dust it is. A thousand. Yeah, I don't I don't feel do I don't feel comfortable doing that. Uh Star Racer 95, which is bright as fuck. Let's see if it Yeah, shader's way, way better. That wait, hold on. Okay, so the only thing that's a negative is the fact that this right here, the line, the orange lining does not change color, so just be aware of that. We have bright nostalgia, which this one shaders really well. I think this looks super cool. We have a convertible shell, which is cute. I definitely don't hate it. It's just uh, there's no point in buying this for me personally. I mean, if you like it, more hand, more power to you, man. We have pressure stabilizer for the hunters. We have the other ones for the titans and warlocks. I'll back out and show you guys which ones I mean real quick. Kitty pool, which I definitely want to get this one because I It'd be fun to like have this when my when I'm raiding with my clanmates, and then for the other shaders, apostematism, which is a uh, orange. It's a good orange, black, and green. It looks cool. I would just have to make sure that the orange is like not the main focus because this chest piece. I would have to switch it out. I'm not a big fan of it. That being said, I almost look like I'm hunting like in the forest, and that's like my orange jacket, so that way hunters don't shoot me, which is kind of funny. Uh, vibrant Medusa. <clears throat> I definitely would pick this up if you are interested in like a really unique green because I do like this green right here. This one, not so much. The neon green is kind of gross, but if it was this green, I would have loved it. Uh, we have Warbrick, which is one of my favorite shaders in the game just because of the red. That red is so good. That being said, uh, it is the off color, so you will never you'll never see it a lot of the time. You'll always see just uh, white, this like gray or black. That's the only colors you'll usually see. And then uh, this one, this purple one, I always fucking butcher the name, so I'm not even going to say it, which I'm not the biggest fan of this one either. Uh, it's probably this purple right here or this magenta, whatever it's called. Not the big fan of this one. 
and I think the purple this purple is too bright it's almost like a pink at that point or lavender it's too bright for everything else so that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it so oh yeah the exotics that are being sold I'm pretty sure that's not it let me see no so hunters it was the chess piece titans if I remember correctly hmm do I have to switch to the... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to switch because I don't remember off the top of my head which ones. Yeah, let's just do that real quick. So for Titans, it's going to be the point contact brace or point contact cannon brace, uh, specifically Anchorage. I definitely think this is cool. I'm just not going to get it for... I don't know. Like I, On the one hand, in my head, I'm like, get it because you always regret not getting ornaments, which is a, a fair point. I'm going to get it because... What, you might never know next season might be for some reason fucking uh the the fallen i forget what the fuck this uh fuck the the fallen that are that are this specific faction i forget, uh whatever they're called the the these assholes it might next season it might be there like specifically uh oh my god i can't speak today it might be that theme of that season is what i'm trying to say so that's why I'm going to just pick it up because we might never know when that they come back and the scourge. There we go. It might be the scourge theme, which I'm going to get mad if it is because or I would have gotten mad if it was because then I wouldn't have had that exotic, even though I already have uh, a scourge exotic for Titans. But you might I, I, it's just it's better to be safe. It's better to be safe than sorry. And then, oh, OK, that's it's a good thing. I looked this up because uh, Phoenix Fusion is up for this week. Definitely pick it up, guys, because this is a really dope ornament. Uh, that being said, it, it does suck that this exotic got nerfed. If you guys don't know which one I'm talking about, it is for Starfire Protocol. It is unfortunate that it got nerfed because, like, this is so cool. Like, it's such a good-looking ornament. Definitely pick it up. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.